Hey guys, I'm Trey Wittish, and here's your entertainment report for Monday, March 1st. The family of the late Michael Jackson is lashing out at VH1 for broadcasting a reenactment of the King of Pop's death. The death scene was broadcast last week on an episode of the series Famous Crime Scenes and featured an actor bearing an uncanny resemblance to Jackson. The program also reenacted the autopsy, which showed the lookalike naked on an autopsy table covered by a towel. Billy Joel is denying rumors that he pulled the plug on a planned summer tour with Elton John, claiming that the tour was never set to take place. Piano Man says that he made up his mind a while ago to take 2010 off and that rumors were leaked by insiders at various concert venues. Joel and John are currently wrapping up a string of dates to make up for the shows the pair canceled in 2009. The 18-year-old son of Marie Osmond died over the weekend after jumping from his apartment Friday night. Police have ruled the death of Michael Blosell a suicide. The teenager had suffered from depression for most of his life and had previously entered a rehab facility in 2007. And Martin Scorsese's Shutter Island topped the box office for a second weekend in a row, earning $22 million. The thriller has now grossed $75 million in total. Kevin Smith's police comedy, Cop Out, took second place at the box office, raking in $18.5 million. And that's your entertainment report for Monday, March 1st. I'm Trey Wittish. Be sure to stay logged on to rttnews.com for all your entertainment headlines.